Constitutional issues. Council is not seeking re-election on the 2nd of May 2019. On behalf of the Council and the people of the borough, I would like to acknowledge the contribution of those members who are not seeking re-election and offer our thanks to Councillor Martin Aldred, Frank Carmichael, Mandy Dewhurst, Stuart Keane, Sam Murphy, Nathan Miller, and Myra Whiteson. I have presented certificates to those retiring members who are present in the nurse parlour earlier this evening. It placed on record the Council's appreciation of the service of these seven members. I invite other members now to say a few words. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, I just want to thank Councillor Nathan Murray on behalf of the people of Bryn. I wish you wasn't as popular as you are in Bryn, but unfortunately you are. And I've had many races on Facebook trying to get information to different groups before you. I've not heard a bad word said about you. You're a good councillor. I wish you was, I, I kind of wish you were still around. You're always pleasant, you're always respectable, and I wish you the best of luck. And hopefully, we might see you again one day. So hopefully not when I'm up next year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and I just want to pay tribute to Nathan. Himself and Nathan have done quite a bit of work in communities uh, in his area uh, in, on the Outlet project. Uh, and he's done a lot of work on that and we work really closely and ball and play. And he's really committed to the communities. And I think as Steve Jones said before, a really nice lad who's actually committed to it in the communities. And it is a bit lost, as Steve said. But people move on and careers are careers, and I think that's where we are. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Madam Bro. I, I want to thank them all uh, because they've all given, given service. And I think anybody who takes up the job of counsellor, you perhaps don't always realise what it's all about until you actually start to do it. So for these people to actually give up their time and uh, and to, to represent people in the communities where they live is an absolutely fantastic uh, achievement for them to, to, to give that level of service. And in particular, I pick up on Council Murphy's point, young people, young, young people actually taking a step uh, out of their career at that time uh, to actually dedicate themselves to doing community work as a council. And I think it's a shame because there is no protection for young people in particular from their employers when they want time off uh, to do the council work. And I think successive governments have, have made a mistake by not making that a more enforceable uh, duty that people should be allowed to do. Because it is important, but it shouldn't just be people who retire. It shouldn't just be people who can afford not to work on the councils. It's about young people in particular having opportunities to give up their time and represent the communities to give their service is what they want to do. As individuals, I've got to know them all, and to be quite honest, I've not a bad word to say about any of them. I, as leader, as the leader, ex leader will tell you, people do say things to you about councils in various wards in different places. And I can honestly say that the people here tonight, not one bad word has ever come to me about the work that these people do in representing their communities. Because it's not just a five day a week job, it's a 365 day a year job. Uh, and we all know that the, the commitment that you've got to give that and the time that you've got to give that has got more and more difficult. Can I ask for a round of applause for these members? <laughs> <laughs>